Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours, and thank you for spending some time with me today. It's always appreciated. Today I'm out in Pasco, Washington, and we are visiting the homeboys. And I found us an interesting floor plan that I thought we should take a tour of. So let's hop on outside. I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's start on the side of the house. I mean, take a look at all of those windows. That natural light is going to be amazing. And that conveniently placed sliding glass door. And how about this porch? This porch right here is 8 feet across by 26 feet deep. And on this side, you have that extra 4 feet for your doorway. So technically, you have 12 feet over on this side by 26 feet. And I love that angled wall right there. Now, what we're looking at today comes from Golden West Homes, and it comes from the Inspiration Gold Series. This is known as the Spruce ING 561F. It's a three bed, two bath. It sits at 1,458 square feet. The dimensions of this home, 56 feet by 28 feet, and the base price is $172,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Now let's continue this home tour on the inside, shall we? Now walking into this home, this is an open concept floor plan. I do like the accent color and the accent wall all the way across. I love the fact that it has so many windows in this living room. The uh, size of this living room, everyone, is 21 feet by 13 feet 6 inches. We've got 8 foot sidewalls, tape and texture throughout and in addition you have that cool tray ceiling up there. I like that design style choice right there. But hey before we really get going do me a favor and hit that like button. That one helps out the channel and two helps this video get out to more people. And if you haven't done so yet consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll see these as soon as I post them. But hey let's check out the kitchen now. Walking through the kitchen here, we have a very uh, black and white color motif here. We got shaker cabinets all the way up to the ceiling here. Spin it around. Let's take a look at the lighting. I like the lighting. It's a semi-retro looking pretty cool. We have an island here, which is an Eden uh, counter. You have seating for two there, uh, but spinning around to over here, let's take a look at this kitchen. I love the uh, black uh, countertops. Um, I love the the size of these these cupboards here. They are not adjustable shelves, but they go all the way up to the top, and they are soft close, so that is nice. I love the hexagon pattern on the backsplash. That goes great with the countertop, and it even makes this apron sink look even cooler. We've got an apron sink with a pulled down faucet, gooseneck faucet right there. And that's where that angled wall is. And you have plenty of windows right there to look out and ponder upon life. So spinning around over here, we're taking a look at the rest of this kitchen, which has the uh, black appliance package. But you know, you can always change that to the white appliance package or these, the uh, stainless steel appliance package if you like. But personally, I like the uh, black motif here. It looks great with the rest of this kitchen, in my opinion. Greatly constructed um, drawers there. This is nice. This home is coming out of Golden West in Albany, Oregon. Um, and that is uh, where these are built. And they are shipped out from that general area. But, I mean, take a look at this kitchen. It's looking really nice. Um, and right there, that'd be a great little, like, coffee nook. But first, let's take a look at the uh, the pantry here. And we have, what, four shelves right there in the corner, reinforced underneath. Strong looking. Nice. And then right over here, like I was saying, I would completely make this, like, a coffee nook, coffee area. Imagine your coffee pods right there. Or if you do, you know, coffee grounds like myself, you could be all up here. And a nice spot to just kind of start your day. Um, which is really nice. One thing I did notice about this home is it's tape and texture throughout, I think I mentioned, but all of the corners are rounded, which is really nice. Um, I think that always just adds like an extra dimension to a home, you know? Um, it seems like they care. Now let's check out to the, uh, the dining room area. This is a nine feet, nine inch by 13 feet, six inches. Um, decently sized dining room that you can actually expand, you know, like going towards the uh, living room area. And then right behind me, of course, you have your sliding glass door, which makes that convenient if you're gonna build yourself a porch or just get on outside. Now behind this door, we have a coat closet. 
set up right there with your wire shelving and decent amount of space. I'd say this is about two foot by two foot or so, maybe three feet. Yeah, something like that. And now this home is a front elevated home, so everything goes towards the back, but we're gonna look at it all individually. But first, let's take a look at the uh, guest bath here, which is connected to the utility room. So there is your elongated commode that comes with this home. They have the same motif for the um, for the vanities there. I'm liking that, loving that. The framed mirror there, nice little added touch. Nice molding. And then right over here, we have a rain shower head. That is cool. And then we have your um, one piece shower tub combo. This is a 30 by 60 and your standard one. Looks really nice, deep. It's pretty cool. Now let's check out the utility room or laundry room. Can't really call it a mud room because there's no door connected to it, right? I think, is that how it works? Tell me, somebody please. Um, right there, you have plenty of room for your side-by-side -side right there and r right next to that. As you see, that is where your water access is. So have your quarter-inch driver or your screwdriver handy in case you need to get in there. And then right over here, you see there is your um, electrical panel right there on to the right. And then behind this door is your your furnace HVAC unit right here is where that is situated. So uh, the one, the cool thing is it is all in your utility room, but it's kind of hard to get to the water heater. So there you go. And now let's uh, mosey our way back onto the rest of the uh, the guest areas here in this semi long hallway. Um, the uh, first guest room that we're gonna walk into here is a pretty decent size. This is a 10 foot by 10 feet, eight inch by 13 feet, six inch. Um, it has a, uh, uh, an angled wall there. So that is a consideration. This one looks more so personally, I would want it more as an office, uh, but it has plenty of room for, for a little one, for a guest, you know, a twin bed, even a full bed. I'm um, quite possibly even a queen, but you know, um, and it's just because of that angled wall. The uh, closet here, Plenty of space, looking nice. You got that wire shelving, that is pretty cool. And then the uh, the second guest room here, right before we go into there, let's take a look at this linen closet here with the soft drawer, soft close doors. Nice, nice. And now this room is just a touch bigger, being 10 feet 11 inches by 13 feet six inches. And with the eight foot ceilings, it makes this room look way, way big, way big. I love that. You know? The heating and air does come from the bottom in this home. And I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet, but that's where that is. And here is the other closet with your wire shelving, but it's actually a decent size in there. I have to say really nice. All right. Now what is next? I think next would be our primary. Walking into the primary here, I love those transom windows. And I love that shelf, the lighting right there. That is a cool touch. And heck, let's not even mention the uh, the tray ceiling up there. That is really cool. That makes this, this bedroom just like pop in my opinion. That is rad. I like that. And it's a decent size, by the way. It's 16 feet. By 13 feet, six inches. Sorry, I was kind of gazing on the ceiling there because that was just cool looking. But walking into the primary closet, decent sized space right here. They have a, a shelving unit built in for you right in the middle. And then you have um, your, your wire shelves on each side with a transom window, which is really nice. So that is cool. Now, let's go check out the primary bath and see if that is as cool as this primary room. Now walking in, same motif. Oh, I love the way, the fact that they've built in the middle up to the top with some shelving. That is nice. We have dual vanities right there. And then right over here, I like this little nook here. You have some um, cupboards there, you know, on the sides and some room, you know, uh, next to the soaker tub there. So, you know, you can put your things or, you know, decor and stuff. <laughs> but I love the amount of windows in this home. This one, this home has a lot of windows. And I mean, look at that. That is deep in there. Soft close. That's pretty cool. Ah, 
Now there is, right there, there's some storage, but that is where my reservations lie. That is where your toilet is situated. It's a little close to that soaker tub, but it's not as bad because you'll be sitting the opposite direction. So, you know. But look at that. See, look at that, that, that build up there. I love the cubby holes. You could, you know, store stuff. You could do some decor. That is really nice. And then right over here, another rain shower head for your standard. I think this one is a 42 inch um, shower. 42 we got two seats in there and um, a step down is about five inches so and then right over there you got your drawer bank and some more uh, room but this is looking pretty nice you could even consider this a medicine cabinet really <laughs> yeah I liked that uh, prim the primary area is rocking I like that I mean what do you guys think about that let me know in the comments because I, I like that design yeah yeah, but again, I love the rounded corners, uh, the tape and texture, all of that good stuff. But if you, like I was saying earlier, if you want to know more about this home, actually, I haven't said it. If you want to know more about this home, there's a lot of um, options for this home. And there's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can take a 3D tour, see some photos, check out maybe some more video. But most importantly, get that pricing directly from a retailer near you and see what options you have for this home. And hey, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next time. Live smarter, choose manufactured, travel easy.